If you have followed how to make a cross halving joint part one, you are now ready to cut out the work pieces. Step one, sawing. Fix the first piece on the vise. Using a crosscut saw or a tenon saw, start cutting along the lines, marking the width of the socket. Leave a little extra wood for finishing. Make a series of relief cuts into the waste wood. Ensure that you do not cut beyond the depth mark. Step two, chiseling. Chop horizontally using a bevel edge chisel to remove the waste wood. Reverse the piece in the vise and chop away the remaining waste from the other edge. You may also turn the piece to its side and use the chisel vertically. Now use a chisel to pair the base and hammer the sides down to the marks, creating a smooth finish. Use a straight edge of a ruler or a tri-square to ensure that the base is flat. Place a second piece in the socket to make sure the fit is snug. Follow the same steps on the second piece to remove the waste from it. Place the first piece in the socket to check the fit. Use the tri-square to check if the base is flat. Step three, assembly. Fit the two pieces into each other's sockets and use a mallet to tap them in. Use a tri-square to make sure that the pieces are square with each other. If the fit is good, glue the joint, clamp the pieces together and leave it to dry. You have now learnt how to make a cross-halving joint.